Hello YouTube, Jedimon2005 here at the review of SH Figure Arts. Wild the Tiger, one minute from Tiger and Bunny. Uh, so without giving too much away about the story, because I want everyone to go watch it, um, this is basically how Wild Tiger is at the end of the show. Um, I'm hoping if you're watching this, you've already seen the show, and so you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, you should go watch Tiger and Bunny because it's awesome. So anyway, we see the name Wild Tiger, one minute. And then again along the side. Um, the Ben Knight Collector Shop logo, Tiger and Bunny. He's like, check out the back. Um, and then um, right there with the name. The name again, you see him from the back. Again, check out the back. And then there's the name on the back. We see uh, him just doing different poses. Power to the future, Wild Tiger, one minute. Um, you know, him just doing stuff, rubbing his head. Apollon Media logo. So let's get him out. So we see comes with a stand, like all Tiger and Bunny figure arts. It's a Wild Tiger 1 Minute, Power to the Future. It's got the Apple on logo on it. Then we see him. We see he comes with like 12 hands, insanely enough. And then he's got the wild shot with the, like the grapplers extended or whatever, laser shot thing going. So if we get him out, please tell me he's not taped in and I didn't cut the tape. Oh, son of a whore. Alright, so... Here's Wild Tiger. Here we go, Wild Tiger. Here, don't be a bitch. And then his Wild Shot. So here's the Wild Shots. We can see you got the little grapply things on them. Let's take a look at the actual Wild Tiger. So we see his head, just like regular Wild Tigers, really. Uh, soft bank logo. Uh, the Tiger symbol. SH figure arts on the shoulder pad. Um, nothing on his gauntlets like Bunny does. Um, his waist, his legs, it's pretty much the same figure. You get to the back, we see on the back, Wild Tiger, one minute. Power to the future, it's there in little bitty tiny letters. Right down there. So, uh, articulation-wise, he's got his head, which will move somewhat. His arms, uh, full arm, range of motion. Uh, we got his legs, full leg articulation. Right, so let's get. I got regular wild tiger right here at my disposal. Come down, tiger. And you can see he's basically the same figure, um, except for the back, where it has the one minute logo. So let's put him over here. And let's see about getting these wild shots on there. So let's see, how do they go? Because I forgot already. Okay, so I pulled off his gauntlet. There's a little peg in the gauntlet, so what you're going to do is just peg this in, right, to the removed gauntlet, and then you can just pop it back on. Right. Um, I put this on upside down, so let's turn this around. There we go. And bam. So gauntlet. Alright, so the wild shot, and I'm just going to do the one arm. It looks the same as you can, you know, you can probably guess it looks the same on both sides. Okay, so we have that we can do. I'm not going to do that just because I think they look silly. I never, really, I never really liked the wild shot, so we'll skip it. Let's pull this off. Here we go. So, let's get him in a pose. I need a pose for him. I could make him go check out the back. Let's make him do like that. Wild Tiger making some kind of weird. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll guess. We'll make this up as we go along. I tell you what. Let's do a couple of things. Let's do a uh, thumbs hand hook. That one can point to the back. You'd be like, hey, look at the look at the back. So let's let's do it with this one. All right. Basically, see these the gauntlets are making it hard to get the hand in. So let's uh there we go. All right, so we got that in there. So this hand is going to be all turn. Check out the back. All right, like this is like hey. Check out the back. It says one minute. Oh yeah. 
right? We'll turn his head a little. And then the other hand is going to be this, like, I'm brushing my hair because I'm a cool guy type thing. So let's put this hand back there. All right, so that's going to be this open hand. There we go. So this one is going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm awesome. And let's get his legs positioned. Oh yeah, so we got Wild Tiger, just uh, chilling, doing his thing. Um, you know, uh, I think it's probably this probably turned a little bit too much. Cause this, this should be. Is there a split in the? Joint? No, they don't have a split in the. It's not a split elbow joint. But we'll do it like that. All right. So that way it got the shoulder pad from pointing straight down, and then it falls. That's basically what we did. So, um, I mean, it's Wild Tiger, and so he's a good figure. Um, the only real thing is, it's like, well, do you need him? I mean, the only real difference with original Wild Tiger is um, the uh, thing on the back that says one minute. At the same time, you do get a lot more hands. I mean, original Wild Tiger came with, like, you know, four hands. This guy gives you 12, which you can use on both figures, so you can get a lot more poses out of uh, your normal Wild Tiger. Um, and to me, that's always a plus. So, I mean, that's what I like about him. And, um, you know, but that's, I mean, that's almost one of those, like, your call kind of things as to whether or not you get him. You know, he's an expensive exclusive, so that tends to put a damper on some people's plans. Like, oh, I want to pay that kind of money. That's understandable. So, but, I mean, he is a good figure um, if you really like Wild Tiger and want to go that route and get him. So, uh, until next time, check out the podcast, website, Ramboards, RiseRangerRambles.com, bringing you the latest token news in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.